you had a, a, a distinguished playing career, you know, Scotland Sevens and rep games for Scotland as well. And you now make the move into to referee. And do you think that the way or the level you played at as a player has helped you in your, your refereeing? Uh, I hope so. Um, I'd say playing at that level, there's probably an intensity of, of the game um, that I'll probably be used to. Uh, going to refereeing, so it won't be a, a kind of big shock um, with the speed of the game and the intensity of the, the kind of contact. So hopefully that will that will help me uh, progress as a referee. How did you find the, the the courses that you you know you go through if you want to be a potential referee in, in Scottish rugby? You go through these courses which help you to achieve that. So what what helped you within those courses in, in order to get where you are now? Um, I'd say there's. It's obviously different levels of the courses. The first one's uh, first level is very, um, it's, it's quite basic with the, the kind of law knowledge um, aspect about it. Moving up through the levels, it's it's more, it gets more quite a bit more technical um, and how to apply the laws, um, apply the laws well, being, being a smart referee, um, knowing when to, when to apply them. Uh, I think it's quite important because there'll be a lot of infringements going on in the on the pitch at, at uh, kind of ruck time, and it's it's kind of knowing which ones have an effect on the the outcome of of that ruck or have the outcome in, on the outcome of the game uh, to pick up on. The really useful thing that, that that I found when I did level one was that there are aspects of the game which for 20 or 30 years you have completely ignored, i.e. the scrum, yeah. and suddenly you have to you have to referee that so. That can be interesting as well, coming from, because you, you're obviously a back as well, and you're looking at that, that kind of forward dynamic, how did you find that? Um, I'd say the scrums, obviously not never being involved in a scrum, uh, it's one of my big areas uh, for improvement and I'm doing a lot of work on the, on the scrum area just now. I think it's a massive advantage for Mike, I think, uh, when he walks on the park and he obviously players know who he is, I think he's got a huge amount of respect from the off for him, uh, which is great, but he also understands what players are trying to achieve and you know, we always, we're always told that referees should have empathy with what players and, and the game's all about and Mike with his playing background has that in bucket loads, so it's, it's fantastic for him. You, you talk about that sort of empathetic relationship between the, the, the referee and, and, and the player, but how quickly can that be learned because it is a new skill and, and it's, it must be difficult at first because you've got to make that adjustment from from playing, so how quickly can that come yeah. about? Uh, there's, there's a balance in every game between upholding the laws of the game and understanding what what the players and, and, and understanding the kind of materiality of decision making. So it does take a bit of time. Playing background that Mike's got it ha helps accelerate that progress. It does take a bit of time for other people to kind of un get that balance between the, the laws and, and the materiality, but with a playing background like Mike's, it, it, it does fast track it. And in terms of um, where Scotland are with, with top level referees. I mean, we want more. We want more referees at all levels. So, yeah. you know, is, is the idea to, to, to get Mike and see how far he can go in the in the refereeing game and hopefully, you know, make the grade? Absolutely. I, I mean, he's only done sort of eight or nine senior games of rugby um, and has come through those really, really well. So that's the unique thing about this. So hopefully other people might look at it and say, well, I've got a good playing background as well. I think I can achieve a bit in refereeing and, you know, hopefully Mike would be the catalyst for other people um, to take up refereeing as well. And I think with uh, Tapa Henning coming on board um, and, and more investment within Scottish refereeing, I think it's the ideal time for people to, to get in, involved in refereeing in Scotland. Are there any bad habits he had as a player that you've had to iron out in terms of his refereeing? Uh, he always liked a bit of a chat with the referees, I seem to remember. Uh, always used to sort of play the Mr Nice Guy card, but always kind of do it in a way that was slowing down the game for the opposition. <laughs> um, so um, we've tried to get rid of that. And, and just, uh, it's a big transition from player to referee, there's no doubt about that. But but hopefully um, we're, we're working on that, changing his, his perspective from a player's perspective to a referee's perspective, which is obviously very different without taking away the advantages that Mike has from his playing background.